Hello and welcome. My name is Angie Holden and I'm the blogger behind The Country Chic Cottage. So today we're going to make some coasters with vinyl. So I do have a bundle linked in the description below where you can get four of the hexagon coasters I'm going to use along with sheets of vinyl to make the designs that I'm going to make. So if you're interested at all in making the exact coasters that I'm going to make, I would definitely pick up the bundle that comes with the SVG files. And who doesn't need hexagon coasters in my opinion? But anyway, the SVG files will work with other types of coasters. So if you have round or square coasters or something like that, I do have the SVGs linked below and you can just purchase those as well. So what are we going to do? We are going to start from the beginning as to how to make coasters with vinyl. So we'll walk through the steps of actually making the coasters themselves. And then at the end, we'll talk about sealing options, that type of thing. So your coasters last a really long time. So first let's look at the supplies we're going to use. So in the heat transfer warehouse bundle, you get all of these colors of adhesive vinyl. So white, purple, blue, orange, red, and brown, and then transfer tape to go along with those. Also as well, you get a set of four of these really cute hexagon coasters. The other supplies you'll need are a Cricut machine, a weeding tool, and a scraper to complete this project. So the first thing we're gonna talk about are sizing your designs. Now, if you don't wanna purchase the heat transfer warehouse bundle and have some coasters that you wanna use, whether they are hexagon or round, I will go through how to size the designs appropriately. Now, you can find the bundle of just the SVG files linked in the description below as well. So if you just wanna purchase those, that's fine. So let's head to design space and size our designs. I have all the SVG files uploaded to my design space. Now, if you're just gonna make one of these coasters, you only have to upload one, but I uploaded each of them because I'm gonna show each of those being added to my coaster design. Now, my coaster is a hexagon. What you wanna do is add a shape for whatever shape coaster you have. So if you have a square or circle coaster, you would do this with a square or a circle. Then you measure your coaster. And in this case, the coaster is 4.25 inches by 3.75 inches. So I had to click this unlock button and then I typed in exactly my dimensions into these two boxes. Now I have a hexagon that is exactly the right dimension for the coasters I'm making. Now these will probably be way oversized when you bring them in. And what you wanna do for each of these is to resize it. So what I like to do is send my shape to the back and then I can drop the design over each coaster and resize it appropriately. So the apple cider looks good at that size. And you do wanna make sure that your objects are grouped. So as you can see, like this is one group. So as I'm going through all these, I'm gonna make sure each of those are grouped and then all like colors in one design should be attached to each other. So in this case, all of the words should be attached as one layer. And they are, as you can see over here in your layers panel. So I'm just going to resize each of these designs by using the coaster as my guide. So I'm just resizing it to where it, I feel like it looks good on the coaster. And then I move it to the side. If I can actually see this shape on the canvas, it helps me visualize the project more than doing it any other way. So this is the way I like to resize designs for various projects. And once I have these resized, I'll just double check make sure like colors are all attached together before clicking make it. And then we'll head to our Cricut machine and cut each of these designs. Now you can use any Cricut machine for this project. So break out the Cricut machine you have, your fine point blade, and use the vinyl setting to cut this adhesive vinyl. I'm gonna start by cutting my white vinyl and I put it on my light grip mat. And adhesive vinyl is cut face up and you don't have to mirror it. So I just put the liner side down on my mat and we are using Caesar vinyl and it does have a grid on the back. Then I just have the premium vinyl setting chosen on my Cricut machine. And I did set my dial to custom because I am using my Explore. Again, you can use any Cricut machine with this project. And I'll just cut this white and then continue to cut all of my colors. Now that this is done cutting, I'll just eject the mat. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all my other vinyl colors and we'll come back and talk about weeding the vinyl and applying it to our coasters. So I have all my vinyl cut and now I'm going to weed them. So I've weeded actually most of these just because it's all gonna be the same. So I like to start in the corner and pull down with my weeding tool 
and weed away all of the excess vinyl. Now you will need to weed away everything around the outside as well as things like the centers of these letters when we get to the letters themselves. So you just want to go slow when you're weeding this. Make sure it's all cut correctly and like things like the dot on this I come out correctly. And then I come back and remove the centers of those letters. So I'm just going to continue finish weeding these last two pieces and then we'll be ready to use transfer tape to put this vinyl on our coasters. So you will want to clean your coaster before you start. You can use rubbing alcohol, you can run a lint roller over it, but something to clean the surface. And then you'll need a piece of transfer tape. I like to trim my transfer tape to the approximate size of my project, which I've done here. So I'm going to do a few of these designs. Let's start with this two layer design where one layer is on top of the other. So we will add the first layer to the transfer tape. Burnish it down well, then peel back the carrier sheet, leaving that first layer on top of your transfer tape. Then once the first layer is on there, you'll need to get it onto the second layer. You can put parchment paper here if you have trouble lining it up. You could also put it on your mat to hold it still. So since this is a simple design, I think I'll just kind of eyeball it. Then once it's on your second layer, you'll just burnish that down well, burnish from the back, and peel back the carrier sheet, this time leaving both layers on your transfer tape. Then we can just add both of those layers to our coaster. Burnish that down well, and peel back the transfer tape. And there we have one coaster complete. Then I'm actually gonna use this same piece of transfer tape and start the next coaster. So for this one, none of these overlap. So we are going to add like the largest layer in this case is what I'm gonna start with. And then I'm gonna put like the second largest layer, sort of line that up. And I'm just gonna burnish that one from the back because I don't want my vinyl sticking to my work surface, the red vinyl that I've already have on here. And then once that layer's on there, we'll need to add these cute little mugs and the little brown lines of like steam. And I'll just repeat doing those in the exact same way. Then once all of that's on your transfer tape, you just add it to your coaster in the same way as we did that first one. And now I'm just gonna repeat the same procedure for all of my coaster designs. Four things like this little cup that's gonna go on our leggings, leaves, and lattes, please. Building it on the cup is what I like to do. And then I'm gonna transfer the entire cup to my design. That is because each of these elements needs to be lined up with each other. So I will lay out each element on the cup first. And now that the cup looks good, I'll add the cup to the transfer tape to transfer the entire thing at one time. And here you can see each of the coaster designs. And we are gonna talk about how to finish these off and some options for that. But I wanted you to see each of the designs up close so you could see what they looked like. So these designs are perfect for fall, winter, just about any time of the year. 
you can pick your favorite from these designs and make a whole set or make a set like I have with all the different designs. Either way, I think you'll really love these coasters. All right, now we have all these awesome coasters. What are we going to do with them? So permanent vinyl is like the name permanent. However, you do need to wait 72 hours after you have applied your vinyl to your surface before using the coaster in this case. So definitely wait 72 hours before using these coasters. Now, if you want some extra protection, let's talk about some options. You can use Mod Podge over the top of this. Couple layers, I would suggest Outdoor Mod Podge just because these are gonna get wet with drinks sitting on top. So I would do an Outdoor Mod Podge, two to three coats, allowing to dry between coats, be sure to follow all the directions. I myself am not a huge fan of dishwasher safe Mod Podge, so I wouldn't use that. You have to let it cure for 28 days. I just don't think it's worth it. I like the outdoor safe better. Just my opinion. Now, if you want the ultimate in protection, what do you do? I would suggest an epoxy top coat. So it goes a little bit step further. It is a little more complicated. However, those coasters are gonna last a really long time. So I would do an epoxy top coat, so a two-part epoxy. You mix those together, you pour it over the top, you allow that to cure. There are a few things you need to keep in mind when you're doing an epoxy top coat, and I will link to a blog post that I did where I made coasters with an epoxy top coat in the description below. So head there if you want specific directions on using epoxy, I would head there. Try out that epoxy top coat if you would like. It makes a really professional finish, in my opinion, and it's a great way to make like really professional looking gift ideas, or if you're making coasters to sell, it's a great way to like add value to your product. So the ultimate coaster would be the vinyl with the epoxy on top. Next would be the vinyl Mod Podge a couple coats. Now, if I'm just gonna use these on my Thanksgiving table, like I just want this happy pumpkin spice season <laughs> on my Thanksgiving table at every place setting, I'm probably only gonna use them once. I'm gonna use the vinyl. I'm gonna make sure it's 72 hours before Thanksgiving when I make my coasters. I'm gonna use these on the table. And then, you know, if they mess up after Thanksgiving, I only wanted them for the party anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it. So kind of three options for sealing those coasters depending on the level of sealer you want. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about anything we've covered, please drop down in the comment section, ask away. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. We have videos like this every week and trust me, you don't wanna miss any of those. So thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.